Cooper. And today, I have quite an important topic to talk to you about. Gender equality and feminism. Their words and phrases, they are often thrown around, but many don't really understand the true meaning behind them. In short, the feminism by definition means the men and women should have equal rights and opportunities. It's not a bad word. It's not a bad thing. I really believe that everyone should be treated equally. At times, I can't understand why certain women are not interested in being strongly opinionated or direct. When I was younger, I read a book about a famous woman that made a very powerful speech in Korea. The speech were awareness and the fact that girls were not in school, a woman should stay in the house. Then, a little while back at ACB, during my class with my teacher Isaac, we read a story about a female pilot who wanted to travel from one city to another to break a world record. But she was denied airplanes from purely based on the fact that she's a woman. This puzzled me. And at this time, the Isaac and I started to discuss more and more about gender equality in today's world. I asked my dad how many managers at his company are female. And the answer was zero. I really am wanting change for the future. That's why I was very excited when Emma Watson's involvement in the He for She campaign. It's a positive action of inviting men to learn more about gender equality and positively support their opposite sex. I also respect women like Emma Watson, Rainbow Sense at ACB, and of course, my mom. They are all very strong-minded women, and I like that. Movies are getting more supportive as well. The recent examples being last year, Maleficent and Frozen storylines. No longer is a woman just a typical piece of a story, just waiting to be rescued by a macho man. Women can be strong, heroic, 